Hi everybody. I hope everybody had a nice Christmas and a nice New Year's. I did and I have so much to talk about with you. I've been getting so many messages, had a late night workout. It's breezy outside on these streets in Rochester, New York. Gotta wear your gloves when you go outside because it's cold if you choose to work out after dinner. I just wanted to do something different um, for a change. I'm probably not gonna keep doing that. So uh, your girls, no makeup, all natural tonight. Um, after this, about to go in and take a nice shower, watch a movie, and that's it. But we're going to fucking talk about it. Must be 18 years of age just to clear my conscience, get somebody's consent because now, tonight we're going to talk about it. Someone asked me, they were like, Angela, I took my ex back and they're cold to me. They're not answering my phone call. They're not responding to my text messages. What should I do? What can I do? But can you tell me why they're doing that? Ah, oh, that would be my pleasure. I see my hair acting funny. I should have fixed myself up a little bit, but oh well, who cares? You know it's your girl, Angela Sparanza from Rochester. You're one and only love coach. So let's get into it. Your ex that you took back is being cold to you because you were acting needy you had them this is gonna hurt hearing it it hurts me telling you but you wrote in you asked me so you know i'm gonna give it to you real and i'm gonna give it to you straight fall back fall the fuck back you got your ex back what the fuck is wrong with you like what are you doing I didn't want to get into it in the text message with this person because I've been there. I've been in your shoes. I know how you feel and I know you want answers. You were acting clingy. You were acting needy. Your ex remembered something or you did something and that triggered something. And that's why your ex fell back. This works for a man. This works for a woman. This works for if you're married, if you just had a newborn baby, it doesn't matter. It works for everybody. I'm always right. I will never lead you in the wrong direction. If you're having trouble, 585-296-1334. My lines are always open. No question is silly, always confidential. So fall back. That's the first one. The second thing is why your ex went cold is because during your time spending with them, they were happy. But you got selfish. You didn't give them no time. You didn't give them no space. They couldn't even go to the bathroom without you being there. They couldn't even check their phone without you being there. They couldn't even watch their own TV without you being there. Whatever. Those are just some things. If I am hitting it hard and you're going through this and you are losing your mind and it's after the holiday 585-296-1334 no question is silly always confidential always here for you if you are just tuning in just had a nice breezy late night workout on these rochester mean cold streets we are about to finish talking about it it is why your ex went cold to you after 48 hours that you took them back 48 hours <laughs> oh man like that sucks that's a terrible feeling. Yeah, your ex is talking to somebody else. Yeah, they might even be with somebody else. They might even go out and have some drinks and go out. Yeah, your ex is gonna do that to keep their mind off you, to keep them from texting you. They get all your phone calls. They get all your text messages. They see all that. They're punishing you. You're pissing them off. You're being needy. You're begging, you're pleading stop doing all that this is 2022 yes i know we're gonna change ourselves. we're gonna change for the best we're gonna show our ex that we are not the same person that they think we are yeah when you had your ex back that whole time you were happy you were in love you were content your ex was so good to you 
they were bending over backwards for you. They were catering to you. They were showing you what it was like to be with them. They were showing you what you've been missing. You felt you were in so much love that you had your ex back. And then they just shit on you. Then they just went fucking cold. Fuck you and fuck your ex. That's what you say. You say fuck you and, and, and fuck your ex. You go better yourself. Start tonight. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, don't call your ex. Tomorrow morning, if you have messages or phone calls from your tech, from your ex, do not respond. Your ex deliberately chose to ignore you and chose to ignore your messages. So now that they're done doing what they were doing for the 48 hours of hurting you, no, you're not going to call them back. You're going to make them wait. Do you understand that? I don't care if you make them wait two weeks. I don't care if you make them wait another 48 hours. You do not respond to your ex. You're going to teach them that you're not going to disrespect me. That is disrespectful. That is abuse. Um, they're showing you that they can just talk to you whenever they want, but it don't work like that. And it's not going to work like that. I am Angela Speranza. I am the love coach of Rochester. And we are here on this nice Monday, cold night on these streets. And we are talking about it all. Um, so let's get back into it. The reason why, another reason, third reason why your ex went cold to you is because you scared them. You scared them off and they don't want to pick up the phone. They don't want to respond. They don't want to argue. They know they caused the trouble. They know it's their fault. They know all this. The fourth thing I can tell you why your ex went cold is that they're going to have a hard time coming back to you, but they will come back to you. They needed space. You were too clingy. If you were attractive enough, they wouldn't be doing any of this. It's something you're doing. It's something that's going on. Yeah, this hurts hearing it, but these are true facts. This is what your ex is going through. This is what your ex is feeling. This is what your ex is thinking. Woo, caught a little chill. Got to put the heat on. Car Chronicles. Um, I just... What I would do if I were you, what I did in that situation, oh, such a long time ago, I was obsessed. I learned the patterns. I learned what was going on. And it had to happen to me more than 50 times for me to see, okay, if I act like this, he's gonna act like that. If I do this, he's gonna do that. If your ex can predict you, your behavior, they have no respect for you. They're gonna go cold to you, they're gonna go distant. You're not gonna hear from them and you're not gonna see them. The only thing I would tell you is better yourself in this time that you're not hearing from your ex and you're not seeing them because they're better in themselves. That's why you're not hearing from them or seeing them. Yeah, it hurts hearing that, but that's the truth. That's what they're doing. They're not thinking about you. They don't give a fuck about you right now. Fall back. 585-296-1334. That's just a regular number. You can reach me at day or night. No question is silly. Everything is always confidential. I am your girl. I am Angela Speranza, the one and only love coach of Rochester and all over the world. Write into me. Let me know. You're never alone.